All right, guys, Joe back again. Uh, I forgot to mention last time, Dave is also here operating the camera for us. Uh, and we are going to move on to the next box, which is going to be the Chandra Nailar box, the red box. This is the box that I used in my second, obviously not this exact one, but this is the color that I used in my second career release where I also went three and one. That's interesting. This is backwards. I've never seen that before, but uh, that's fine. Uh, our promo foil is Chandra's Ignition, which is actually depicting the moment that she got her Planeswalker Spark. Uh, plus, the card is really good. So that's awesome, Chandra's Ignition. And once we open up the seated pack, we'll see what else we got of red stuff. Leave that over there. Chandra's Ignition. The card, tip card thing, or the, whatever this is called. I can't think of it at the moment. Seismic Elemental is an uncommon. Skyriker Giant. Boggart Brute, that card's fun with Menace. A Crowan Sergeant, Cobble Brute, and Lightning Javelin. Lightning Javelin worked really well for me during the pre-release as well. So that's really cool. Some red cards there uh, from our seated pack. Let's see how helpful these packs are with giving us some good red cards to make our deck with, or what position it pulls us in if we're not going to go red for whatever reason. First pack, Dark Dabbling. Chandra's Fury, good red, speaking of good red cards. Charging Griffin, Macabre Waltz, Stratus Walk, Farika's Disciple, Bellows Lizard, another red card for us, a good early card to play. Stalwart Aven, Returned Centaur, Ring Warden Owl, Elemental Bond, into the Uncommons, Consecrated by Blood, an artifact in the Gold Forged Sentinel. And our rare is Vryn Wingmare, which is actually a really cool rare. Unfortunately, not in our colors, but we'll see if maybe we're putting some white in there as well. Uh, and a mountain and a tip card. Next pack. See if we can get some, some red rares or mythics in these packs. Catacomb Slug first. Subterranean Scout, whoops, just knocked the Vryn Wingmare over. Uh, Oromancer, Screeching Scab, a Vastwood Gorger, nothing like big green creatures. Uh, an Artifact in Veteran Sidearm, a good red pump spell in Titan Strength. Read the Bones, Calculated Dismissal, Lanawar Empath, Into the Uncommons with the Artifact Sigil of Valor. Totem Guide Heart to Beast. Turn to Frog, which is a really cool uncommon. And I kind of snuck a peek. It looks like we have a red rare or mythic in Molten Vortex, which is actually not that good of a card for pre-release um, or for you know making limited decks with, but that's fine. Ooh, and we got a Shia the Awoken World token. It's a little sad when I'm happier about the token than I am about the rare, even when it's in our colors. Um, but I guess I did ask for red rares, and that's what I got. I should have been more specific. Uh, Charging Griffin, first card in this pack. Macabre Waltz, Act of Treason, not a bad red car card. A Hitchclaw Recluse, Nivix Barrier, Rox Maulers, Heavy Infantry, Bonded Construct, Prickle Boar, some more red cards. That's good to see. Reeve Soul. Girapur Aether Grid. So if we get a bunch of Thopters in this uh, pre-release box, we can go with a Thopter strategy, and this is our first uncommon. Anointer of Champions. Jayemde Tome, which is a weird card. Uh, and a Pyromancer's Goggles, which is a mythic, but this time it's in a red box, and that's good because it adds red mana. Not bad. Costs five mana, so maybe not, but an option for the deck. And a planes and a tip card there as well. On to the next pack. Starting off good with this pack with a Chandra's Fury right on top. That's cool. Charging Griffin, Negate, Vastwood Gorger, Shambling Ghoul, 
Calculated Dismissal, Rocks Maulers, Heavy Infantry, another Bonded Construct, that's really cool, that card's great. Another Prickleborn, more red cards is always good. Goblin Glory Chaser, getting us into the Uncommons and starting us off right, that card is awesome. Playing that on turn one uh, scares your opponent quite a lot. Flesh Bag Marauder, Dwinin's Elite, and then our Rare or Mythic is... Liliana Heretical Healer. That's so cool. That is my first Liliana of the set so far. Flips into Liliana, Defiant Necromancer, Planeswalker, Mythic. That's awesome. Uh, I'm glad I didn't open this at pre-release because uh, I don't know how good the rest of the black is in this pack, but I just got a Liliana Planeswalker that's really, really cool. Um... Yeah, that's awesome. So, awesome. All right, give me a second. Sorry about that. I will uh, gather myself and we'll open our next pack as I stare at Liliana for a second. Uh, Infernal Scarring. Dragon Fodder. Great, great red card for the red box. Yoked Ox. Dead Bridge Shaman. Titanic Growth. Disperse. Nantuko Husk, Bellows Lizard, Leaf Gilder, Topan Freeblade, another Gearpore Aether Grid. Unfortunately, I have not seen a lot of Thopter producing cards, but that is the second one that we have that has an artifact theme. In, and that was the first uncommon as well. Continuing with the uncommons with Call of the Full Moon which is great, another red uncommon. Zendikar's Royal, and our rare is Caves of Koilos, uh, white-black, which is okay. Obviously, in, in this box, not insane, unless we're necessarily going black because we got that Liliana, but Caves of Koilos is a cool um, land, and we did get a Thopter token as well, so I think everything wants us to go Thopters except for actually getting cards that make Thopters which is kind of frustrating. But, on to the last pack. Uh, no complaints so far about this box because we got a Liliana. So, Catacomb Slug. Subterranean Scout. We have a couple of those now. Oromancer. Touch of Moon Glove. Caustic Caterpillar. Send to Sleep. Stalwart Avon. Guardian Automaton. Fiery Impulse, another good red card with Spell Mastery, which is cool. Knight of the Pilgrim's Road into the Uncommons with Patron of the Valiant. It's a beautiful card. Gather the Pack. Rogue's Passage, which is a good land if you need to get creatures through. And our last rare or mythic of the box is green. It is Evolutionary Leap. Card's okay. Obviously not necessarily in this box. Um... And a Swamp and a Tip card again. So, obviously, we got Liliana. That is the winner of the box, the MVP of the box. Fantastic. Um, and it looks like the black stack is almost about as tall as the red stack. Obviously, once we add our seeded pack, the red wins out a little bit, but it was the red box. Um, again, you guys got to go through and see all the black cards that we opened. Um to see if it really is worth it to try to play black in this deck or not. Um, I'm not really sure. With the number of red cards that we have, not even considering whether they're playable or not, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we have 24 red cards. Before even looking at whether they're playable, I know for a fact that we have two of those Aether grids that require artifacts. If we wanted to go that route, we do have some artifacts as well. If we take the lands out of this stack, we've got eight artifacts, but one of them is a giant day tome. I don't know how good I feel about that. Um, but what do you guys think? Just like last time, leave it in the comments below. Uh, let us know what your deck would have consisted of. And we'll see uh, if you guys agree with each other. And um, maybe we'll see what we do with this in the future.
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks once again.